Hey guys, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kewal. In this lecture, we shall discuss that what is monetary policy, what are the different types of monetary policy and how does monetary policy central bank implements and what is liquidity trap. So, we start that what is monetary policy. Monetary policy is the set of quantitative and qualitative measures taken by the central bank to control money supply and credit in an economy. The central bank controls money supply in order to achieve the macroeconomic objectives. What are those macroeconomic objectives which the central bank achieves through the monetary policy are price stability, reduced inflation, high employment, exchange rate stability, balance of payment equilibrium and economic growth. So, these are the objectives which are achieved through the monetary policy. Monetary policy affects at the aggregate level. There are two types of monetary policy. One is the expansionary monetary policy and other is the contractionary monetary policy. The expansionary monetary policy is also called an economic demand side policy. So, now question arises when does the central bank implement the expansionary monetary policy? The central bank implements this policy when there is deflation, high unemployment, recession and financial crisis in the economy. Why and how does this policy function? To inject more money in the economy, the central bank lowers an interest rate and increases money supply. Consequently, production and consumption is encouraged and saving is discouraged that help in bringing back the economy to its normal track. Other type of monetary policy is contractionary monetary policy. What is contractionary monetary policy and how does central bank implement? To abate money supply in an economy, the central bank implements this policy by increasing an interest rate that helps in promoting savings and discouraging spending. When does the central bank introduce the contractionary monetary policy? The central bank implement if there is high inflation and economy is in the boom period. As we learned that the monetary policy is a set of the quantitative and qualitative measures. So, what are those qualitative and quantitative measures? Quantitative measures are the quantitative controls include the bank rate or discount rate, open market operation, reserve ratio, liquidity ratio, credit rationing and selective credit controls. So, these are the quantitative measures. The qualitative measures include the moral solution method of publicity. We shall learn in detail that what is bank rate or discount rate and how does it function to control the money supply. What is bank rate? A rate at which the commercial banks obtain loans from the central bank and the central bank grants credit and rediscount bills and other securities. When a bank rate is raised, the other bank's interest rate on advances move up and borrowing funds are discouraged following a decrease in money supply. When a bank rate is decreased, the other bank's interest rate on advances go down and borrowing from bank is incurred and money supply is increased. What is open market operation? The central bank influences and controls the money supply through this tool by buying and selling the government securities and short term bonds. The central bank sells securities to buyers through commercial banks and reduces financial lending power of banks and decreases credit expansion and reduces money supply. The central bank in order to inject more money in the economy buys securities from buyers through commercial banks and increases the financial lending power of the banks and increases credit expansion to increase money supply to promote the productive activities. What is reserve ratio? Reserve ratio is a certain percentage of deposit amount. It means the amount of money or funds by which the commercial banks are legally bound to keep with central bank. The lending and financing power of commercial bank contract in case the reserve ratio is increased and money supply decreases. In other case, the reserve ratio is reduced, the lending and financing power 
of banks increases and money supply increases. What is liquidity ratio? It is a certain percentage of deposit liabilities. A liquidity ratio is the amount of assets which banks are legally bound to hold in the form of cash balance with the state bank and securities. An increase in the liquidity ratio leads to a reduction in the money supply. A decrease in liquidity ratio supports in an increasing money supply. An increase in liquidity ratio helps in reducing money supply. Another tool of quantitative control include the credit rationing. Under this measure, the central bank fixes the upper limit on the overall credit expansion by each commercial bank. By increasing the credit limit, the money supply increases and reducing the credit limit will lead to a decrease in money supply. Another quantitative control includes the selective credit control for specific purposes or for certain class of borrowers for preferred sectors like agriculture and industrial sector, the central bank may allocate the mandatory credit targets and extend the credit limit of each bank. Or for certain non-essential purposes, the central bank may put bans on the grant of total credit or to encourage or discourage investments in the specific fields, the cost of finance may be lowered or raised. The minimum margin requirements on securities are relaxed are removed to encourage or discourage the certain business activities. So these are the quantitative controls that helps to control money supply and other measures are the qualitative control. The qualitative measures include the moral social. The moral social it means that the central bank by emails appealing verbally or in written or issuing the warning letters persuade the commercial banks to follow a credit policy and other the qualitative measure include the method of publicity. The central bank may by publicity method by giving aid on the television provides guidance to the banks in respect of their lending and financing operation. What is liquidity trap? Liquidity trap is the extreme situation in, in the period of depression in the economy when an interest rate is too low that an increase in money supply through monetary measures fails to reduce further an interest rate and people prefer rather to hold money would invest in bonds that lead the expansionary monetary policy becomes ineffective in rising investments production consumption or any other economic activities in this situation the fiscal policy is run through the government if we summarize, we can say that the central bank executes this policy to control money supply and credit in an economy to achieve the macroeconomic objectives like we discussed the price stability, reduce inflation, high employment, exchange rate stability, balance of payments equilibrium and economic growth. The central bank considering the economic existing situation of deflation, inflation, boom, high unemployment recession and financial crisis in the economy, central bank decides to implement either expansionary or contractionary monetary policy. This monetary policy works through qualitative moral social and method of publicity as well as and the quantitative controls like the bank rate, discount rate, open market operation, reserve ratio, liquidity ratio, credit rationing and selective credit controls. This is all about the monetary policy and types of monetary policy about the quantitative and qualitative controls through which the monetary policy controls the money supply. I hope this would be helpful for you. If you have any query or suggestions, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching.